Hi, it's Tina here. I'm going to talk to you today about penalty doubles. I'm often asked, what's the difference between a penalty double and a takeout double, and how do I know which is which? So I'm going to give you a very simple uh, explanation for how you will know for sure that a double is a penalty double. Basically, there's two occasions. One, after an opening one, no trump, and two, when your opponents have freely bid to a high level contract. Let's have a look first at the one no trump. If you're playing Akol, one no trump promises 12 to 14 high card points. Your double says that you've got at least 16. Basically you're saying to partner, I've got more than they do, I want to try and defeat this contract, please pass. That's your message. If you're playing a strong no trump of 15 to 17, for example, then you need to have more than that to double. You need to have 18 at least to make a penalty double. So with this hand, it is a perfect, perfect penalty double. And what you're hoping is that partner's going to pass and you're going to take your opponent down. Look at this hand. Here's an ordinary 14 uh, point hand. It's the kind of hand that if you're playing Ackle, you'd have opened one no trump. You've got a very balanced hand and between 12 and 14 points. You should now, or you cannot now double, you should pass. Because double would promise 16 and you haven't got the kind of hand where you think that you're going to defeat one no trump. So just pass. You're very happy to pass. You know that there's strength on your right and you might be able to do some damage, but you can't guarantee that you can. This hand, wow, what a lovely hand and what a lovely spade suit. So shall we bid two spades or four spades or some number of spades? The answer is no, I would not. I've got 18, 18, 16 high card points and a beautiful suit. So I'm going to double and lead the king of spades because what I'm hoping is that I'm going to make five spade tricks and at least two aces with a chance maybe of making the Queen of Hearts as well. So good time to double. The next hand is not so strong. Now you've just got an ordinary opening hand, although you've got a beautiful suit. Now I'd be very happy to try and steal the contract and bid two spades. That'd be perfect. So, partner's made a penalty double. Partner's got 16 points at least. You should fall over backwards to pass. As I've said, if you're really, 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 really weak with about one or two points in a long suit, maybe you can bid. Otherwise, cooperate with partner and try and take them down. Here, you've got eight high card points. And that means between the two of you, you've got 24. Well, what a good time to make a, ta a penalty double. So you should pass. Let's have a look and see what might happen if you do. So here's the hand that we that we were just talking about. I'm going to pass. West opens one no trump. North doubles and we've got eight points. We can help. So we're going to pass two. So partner leads a diamond. I'm going to play the ten because when you're following suit you follow with the lower of touching cards. And I'm going to continue with a small diamond. All right. That's the end of the clearest diamonds. We've got a 4-4 fit. So now I'm in again. And I've got lots of choices. But I'm going to choose a heart because there's only one in dummy. So I've got good chances, I think, of making my queen. And, uh, and partner could have the king. So... Declare a switch to a spade, and follow suit, king of hearts, as I hoped. In the ace of spades, we've now got seven tricks. Try and make that eight, and we're defending, remember, not playing. Okay, I'm going to play the queen of hearts, and now I'm going to switch to a club, because my partner might need me to lead a club through Declara. Declara wins the ace. This is Declare's third trick. And look at that. We made 10 
matrix for a plus 1100. If I'd bid three no trumps, we would have scored 400. So isn't that amazing? It's really, really good. Okay, so hopefully you're persuaded. The other time when a double is um, often, well, is always penalties, is when they freely bid to a high level contract. Look at this, one spade, three spades, four spades. Do you think they're gonna make this contract? If you basically can take the king or queen of spades with your ace, then you are guaranteed to have three spade tricks. And I'm putting money on the fact that I'm gonna make at least the ace of hearts as well. So I'm very happy to double four spades. I've already passed. I couldn't bid immediately over one spade. So partner's not going to think that it's a takeout double, it's a penalty double. I don't think they're going to make it. So here we go. And if you look, that's exactly what we're going to make. We're going to make three spade tricks and at least the ace of hearts, if not the queen. Okay, so in summary, a double is always penalties after a one no trump opening and after your opponents have freely bid to a high level contract. So go forth and double is fun. And if occasionally it makes, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. Just don't do it so it always makes. No. But after one, no Trump and a high level contract and you'll be fine. See you later.